Hey, g'day everyone. What is going on? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Now in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a really simplistic melody, something that is heavily inspired by Q beats. But yeah, if you are new here, I would greatly appreciate it if you do punch that subscribe button for me. And while you're at it, you might as well flick that bell so you get notified every single time that I upload a video. But with that one being said, let's get into FL Studio and let's deconstruct this sample. Okay, so here we are inside of FL Studio and as you can see with this sample, we honestly kept it really simple, mainly due to the fact that we only have three melodic layers. Now we are at a BPM of 133 in the key of F sharp minor and the first element that we are using comes in from Arcade. Now the preset that we are using with this one is the classic felt piano one shot. That's right, Arcade actually has one shots as well. They are not just a sample bank. Now we honestly kept it really simple as we are only utilizing two chords. The first chord is actually a B minor. Now what I mean by that one is if I grab this B, bump that one down an octave, and then grab this D and bump that one down an octave, as you can see, we have just made a typical B minor triad. But to make it a little bit different, we obviously just change the voicing by bumping those up an octave. We then work with the semitone where we go to this A down to the G sharp before we get into the second chord of this pattern, which is, believe it or not, an F sharp minor. All we did is we just bumped that F sharp up an octave. To change it again at the very end, we throw in this E before we copy and paste the pattern over. But for the second half, just to give it a little bit of variance, instead of going A to G sharp, we actually go G sharp to A. Now we copy and paste that one over, but just to yet again, make it sound like the pattern is evolving and it isn't the exact same thing playing over and over again, we throw in a really simplistic top line, which goes C sharp down to the B, back up to C sharp, ending on the D. Now to make the pattern sound really human, because that is one thing that Qbeats is really well known for, there are a couple of things that we can do. The first one is by pressing Alt and R, we can randomize the velocities, which makes some loud and some quiet as well. The next thing we can do is Alt and S. That strums the notes so they're not being played at the exact same time, because if you were to play a piano, you would have a little bit of delay in between each note. The last thing that we did is we went over to Tools and we went over to Humanize. That yet again just humanizes it, gives it a little bit of human error in regards to some notes playing just a little bit earlier or some playing a little bit later. Some notes also overlap as well. But once we did that, we ended up with a beautiful progression that sounds like so. As you can hear, it is really spacious, leaving a lot of room for other elements. But if I was to go onto the effects with this arcade, we start with an EQ where we get rid of a decent amount of low end. Then an RC20 comes in, which we are using this Q Beats preset, which I have made. And if you do want that one, link to it in the description. All we did is we bumped the wobble up to about 4%, distort is 60%. We give it a little bit of a low cut and we just add in a little bit of magnetic. Going on to the next element of this sample, that one comes in from Omnisphere, and the preset that we are using with this one is the Glockenspiel Dry. Now, the reason I went for the dry version instead of one that has a decent amount of effects on it is I wanted to add my own effects once we made the pattern. Speaking of the pattern, let's get into that one. We honestly kept it really simple as we just have a note playing every now and then. As you can see, we start with this F sharp, then we go up to the C sharp, down to the B, working with that semitone where it goes A to G sharp. Copy, paste that one over, and we end up with a counter melody that sounds like so. Yet again, as you can see down the bottom, we have played with the velocities just to give it a little bit more of a human feel. Let's go on to the effects though. We start with an RC20, which yet again, we are using the Q Beats preset. 
A half time comes in where we are just grabbing the melody that we are playing, but we are practically stretching it over 16 bars instead of being over the eight. So we do get a little bit of a warped feel. Last but not least, an EQ comes in where we get rid of a decent amount of low end and a decent amount of high end. Going on to the final element of this sample, that one comes in from Arcade, and the preset that we are using with that one is the Trill Flute, which comes in from the Drip Bank. Yet again, this is an instrument, not a phrase. Now, the pattern that we are playing with this one is something really simple yet again, where we go G sharp to A, down to G sharp, before we drop it down to the F sharp. As you notice with every single pattern, we are working with that semitone just to give it a little bit of eeriness, a little bit of tension. Now we have that for the first part, but for the second part, we actually bump it up an octave. Just something really simple, but it is a technique that is used a decent amount by Q-Beats, either bumping it up an octave, a fifth, or a seventh. And in context, we get a flute pattern that sounds like so. As you can hear, it is just really simple, but just filling in some of those blank spaces. Going on to the effects with the float, yet again, keeping it really simple, as we have another RC20 with the QBeats preset. Yet again, if you do want that one, link to it in the description. And then an EQ comes in where we're getting rid of a decent amount of low end. Now to get that authentic QBeats feel, what I ended up doing was I bounced out this audio file and we ended up with this one right here. As you can hear, the sample is honestly really nice and it does have that vintage and warble Q-Beats effect to it. But yeah, that is how you can make a really simplistic Q-Beats sample inside of FL Studio. If you do want to download this loop and so many others, I'll be leaving a link to my Artist Connect in the description. I will also be leaving an affiliate link where you guys can actually cop a pretty decent discount if you do want to sign up to the Diamond version of it. But with that one being said, if you are new here yet again, I would greatly appreciate it if you do punch that subscribe button for me. And while you're at it, you might as well flick that bell so you get notified every single time that I upload a video. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next week for another video.